and hello dear friends welcome back once again to our channel vage academy of mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for cat mat and other management exams so this session we are about to solve two problems which are based on finding the sum of factors of given numbers so that is all about this session so let's see what question is given to us find the sum of all the factors then odd factors and even factors for the given numbers so we are given two numbers here first one is 120 and second one is 675 so for these two numbers definitely we would have some factors and what is the question here is we need to find the sum of all the factors of these numbers as well as some of their odd factors and some of their even factors this is all about this question so let's work these questions one by one we'll start from 120 yes yeah let's begin so our first number is 120 so first of all we'll have to deal with factors the first step we need to do is we need to prime factorize our number yes so let's start from there so 120 let me use the space to prime factorize so 120 i'm going to prime factorize so always whenever we do prime factorization we will always use prime numbers only right so i'm going to start with the least prime number that is 2 so 2 in 120 it is 60 times again i can go for 2 so this is 30 times once again 2 15 times and hereafter we can't go with 2 right because we are getting an odd number 15 so we can go with 3 3 5s are will be 15 so in that case this 120 can be written as so i'm rewriting it 120 can be written as 2 cube right because there are 3 2s there so 2 cube multiplied with there is 1 3 and there is 1 5 so 3 and 5 they are 1 each so 3 power 1 into 5 power 1 yes so we are ready with the prime factorization of our number 120 now all we need to do is we need to find the all the three things that is sum of all the factors then sum of odd factors then sum of even factors right yes so this is going to be our task first we will start with finding sum of all the factors right yes so sum of sum of all factors so i'm going to start from here all factors so for this what i need to do so this is going to be quite simple only but this needs some elaborate step listen carefully here what we are going to do here so we are ready with our prime factorization so the next step very next step what we need to do is we need to see the individual factors that are there inside each of these prime powers yes so start from this 2 power 3 so if i want to start with 2 power 3 i'll have to consider what are all the factors I have inside the 2 power 3? So if you remember, we have already tried finding the number of factors for given numbers, right? Before some previous, some few sessions ago, we tried finding number of factors for our given numbers. There also we did the same thing. Here again, we are going to do the same thing, okay? So inside this 2 power 3, I am going to list all the, I am going to consider all the factors that is there inside the 2 power 3. So that means inside this 2 power 3, I got... 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2 and 2 power 3. So I am going to add all these. So this entire thing multiplied with, yeah. Come to the next one. Here we have 3 power 1. So I am going to do the same thing. So inside this 3 power 1, I have got 3 power 0, 3 power 1. So I am going to add both. So 3 power 0 plus 3 power 1. And once again, inside this 5 power 1, next I have got 5 power 1. Inside that 5 power 1, I have 5 power 0 and 5 power 1 I am going to add these two yes that's it I am going to do so this will give me let's try to simplify these expressions okay so it's not going to be very big numbers at all right so I am coming from reverse this is 8 this is 4 this is 2 and this is 1 2 power 0 is going to be 1 anything raised to power 0 will be 1 only right so unless it is non-zero value we can we have the numbers raised to power 0 it will be 1 only so 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 2 is uh, uh, 14 14 plus 1 will be 15 so 15 times what about this one this one will give me 1 plus 3 which is 4 multiplied with this will give me 1 plus 5 so which will be 6 so i am getting 15 times 4 times 6 so this is all i am getting so 15 fours are will be 60 and 60 into 6 will be 360 so the sum of all factors of my number 120 will be equal to 360 that's it okay is the point clear yeah very simple and now next 
we will try to find we found the sum of all the factors next we will try to find the sum of all odd factors okay so odd factors that means this time i am going to consider only odd factors alone for those odd factors only i am going to find the sum yes so this will involve one step lesser right okay so what we did here we'll have to reduce one step we'll be getting the sum of odd factors here that's it very simple okay so for which what i need to consider is in order to get odd factors i should consider only the odd numbers so just leave off this 2 power 3 okay why because this 2 power 3 when when it is getting multiplied inside i may have to get i may be getting some even numbers right definitely when an even number is getting multiplied with odd numbers what happens we will be involving some even numbers also yes the product will be an even number right so in that case i have to just reject this i have to just ignore this 2 power 3 in order to generate only odd factors i should consider only these two expressions okay so in that case if i take 3 power 1 i should just see sum of odd factors is equal to just see 3 power 0 plus 3 power 1 into 5 power 0 plus 5 power 1 this alone i have to consider and when i try to simplify this we already have these expressions here written already here right so this will be a 4 and this will be a 6 so 4 6 are 24 is going to be my answer so that means sum of all odd factors is going to be 24 that's it very simple okay yeah fine and next let us move on to finding sum of all even factors finding sum of all even factors yes okay yeah so i hope you are clear with the order first we found the sum of all the factors that's that's what gave me the answer as 360 and here next we tried to find sum of odd factors alone that gave us 24 and sum of even factors is all we need right this is going to be quite simple because i know the total number of factors i know the sum of all the factors is going to be 360 and sum of only the odd factors will be 24 just think of if you from if from the total number of factors from the sum of all factors if you try to remove if you try to remove the odd factors alone what you will be left with we will be left with only the even factors is it or not so in that case from this 360 if i simply subtract this 24 i will be getting the sum of all even factors that's it very simple so 360 minus 24 the answer would be equal to 336 and that is going to be the answer for sum of all even factors i hope the concept is clear to you so we started off with our number first step we prime factorized our number then what we did is we tried to find sum of all the factors for which what i did is i just took all the sub factors inside right because this 2 power 3 is there 2 power 3 i expanded it inside what are all the numbers i will have i i took i just took all those numbers next i took 3 power 1 inside which i got these things 3 5 power 1 i got these things i just simplified i got the answer for the total number of factors sum of all the factors that's what i got it to be 360 and next in order to find the sum of all odd factors alone for which what we need to consider we need to consider only these odd numbers that alone i took here i just expanded i got 24 and finally to find the sum of all even factors very simple thing total minus odd you do this calculation you get even factors sum of all even factors and that's going to be the answer so the answers for our first question are sum of all factors is 360 sum of odd factors is 24 and sum of even factors is 336 these are our answer right so yes fine so the same way let's try to work the second question also 675 so our number next number given number is 675 as usual let's start with prime factorization so 675 i'm going to prime factorize our number so definitely this number is not divisible by uh, uh, 2 right it's not going to be divisible by 2 why because it is an odd number it is very clear so it's not divisible by 2 in that case let me see an easy number 5 okay 5 is a prime number right so you can start with 5 itself so let me try to divide it with 5 so i will be getting uh, 5 13 are 65 balance will be 2 and 5 5 are 25 so i'm getting 135 once again i can try with 5 itself so 5 and 135 i will be getting 2s are 5 2s are 10 balance 3 so 7s are 35 27 now i can try with three tables so 3 9s are 27 again three tables 3 3s are 9 that's it okay so overall 675 i can write it as let me write it in ascending order okay from the least number to greatest number okay so if i try to write that i will be getting 3 power 3 so i will have 3 power 3 multiplied with 5 power 2 5 square this is all i will be getting for the prime factorization of my number 675 okay over 
so next is as usual we will try to find the sum of all factors okay so sum of all factors all factors is going to be equal to it is going to be equal to i'm putting it as here so yes we'll have to start with let me write in this next line so we'll have to start with 3 power 3 into 5 square right so i have to start with this 3 power 3 what we did here the same thing we are going to repeat here also so 3 power 3 we have so 3 power 3 means inside our 3 power 3 we have 3 power 0 plus 3 power 1 plus 3 power 2 plus 3 power 3 and next inside this 5 square i will have 5 power 0 plus 5 power 1 plus 5 power 2 i hope it is clear to you so yes next part is we need to expand it since we have little bigger numbers i'm just going to write these values first so 3 power 0 will be 1 plus this is 3 plus this is 9 plus this is 27 multiplied with this side i will have 1 plus 5 power 1 is 5 plus 5 power 2 is 25 yeah clear yes continue and now if i try to expand it i will be getting i'll i'll make my addition easy 1 plus 9 will give me 10 3 plus 27 will give me 30 so that means 30 plus this 10 will be 40 40 times of this side i will have 25 plus 5 30 30 plus 1 31 so i will have 40 into 31 so 31 fours are first of all it will be 124 and insert a zero there because we have a zero here so 1240 is going to be the answer for sum of all factors of our number 675 that's it okay yes now the next task is find the sum of all odd factors that's what the next thing we need to do sum of all odd factors this will be equal to just go see only the odd numbers that we have in our prime factorization like how we did here here we had 2 power 3 3 power 1 5 power 1 we eliminated this we just ignored this 2 power 3 because it is an even number if it is going to involve i may happen to get some even factors that's why we rejected this we only saw only the odd numbers same way here also just see the odd numbers alone so if you see the odd numbers alone obviously there are only odd numbers alone there's no two power at all is it or not so in that case here again you will have to repeat the same thing sum of all odd factors if you happen to write you have to again do the same calculation what we did here and again you will happen to get the same answer one two four zero because the reason is for our number 675 being an odd number all its factors are going to be only odd factors only remember that yes is the point clear see here if we happen to get an even number there is a chance for chance of getting both even factors and odd factors for our number but whereas if you are getting an odd number there is no chance for an odd number having an even factor rather an odd number will always have all its factors to be only odd numbers okay that's the reason all factors they are going to be odd factors only and that's the reason we are getting sum of all odd factors to be equal to the sum of all factors okay yes and obviously what about sum of all even factors sum of all even factors is of course going to be equal to there is no even factor at all for our number 675 right there is not even a single even factor so in that case our addition will be obviously zero and obviously 1240 minus 1240 if you do the subtraction you will happen to get the answer as zero so for any odd number you will have only odd factors and that will only come as a result okay but it is not always for an even number for an even number you may have odd factors as well as even factors and this shows that anyways the procedure is clear to you i think yes fine so i hope that this session we solve these two problems both the problems are very clear to you and if at all you are getting any doubts you are most welcome to post it in the comment box when i see them i will see to rectify your doubts again in our next session we will just come out with other different varieties of questions see you soon there thank you so much